Here, we'll show you how to draw a ray diagram for a concave mirror when the object is between the focal point and the mirror. Here's a diagram of a concave mirror showing the principal axis. Here's the focal point, F. And here's the center of curvature, C. It's twice the distance from the mirror as the focal point, F. In this example, the object is between the focal point and the mirror. We'll start by drawing a horizontal line from the top of the object to the surface of the mirror. Remember it must be parallel to the principal axis. This ray is reflected back from the mirror and goes through the focal point like this. The next thing we do is draw a straight line through the center of curvature C and the top of the object. We extend it to the surface of the mirror. A ray from the top of the object will travel along this line and strike the mirror. Because this line goes through the center of curvature, this ray will be reflected back along the very same path, like this. Notice that the purple and green rays are diverging rays. They are moving apart from each other, so they will not cross in front of the mirror to form a real image. Even though these rays do not actually go through the mirror, we'll extend the purple ray back behind the mirror, like this and the green ray back behind the mirror, like this. When we see rays coming toward us, our brain assumes they are traveling in a straight line from the source. So looking from the front of the mirror, these rays seem to be coming from the point where these dotted lines intersect behind the mirror. So this is where the top of the object will be in the image. The bottom of the object is sitting on the principal axis. So the bottom of the object in the image will appear on the principal axis, directly underneath the top. Now that we know where the bottom and the top of our image is, we can draw it in. We can use this ray diagram to describe the image formed when the object is between the focal point and the surface of a concave mirror. Firstly, we see that the image is larger than the object. A concave mirror used this way acts as a magnifier. Secondly, the image appears to be behind the mirror. But remember, no rays actually go through the mirror. We can see that the image in this case is right side up, rather than inverted. This is always true when the object is between the focal point and the surface of this type of mirror. And because the image is formed from rays that seem to be coming from behind the mirror, shown as dotted lines rather than actual solid rays, this is a virtual image, not a real image.